50 videos, 30 days. Hello and welcome to Tech Dive AV Club. This tutorial is a little bit more complicated than some of the ones we've done in the past. And it's not that this is too hard for you to do, it's actually pretty simple. Uh, it's just got a lot of little steps because the falling to earth part of it is really the hard part. So, uh, and also getting the drone footage. So drone footage is something that you can find a dime a dozen on stock footage sites. Also, um, a lot of you I know are drone hobbyists, so you might be able to get this drone footage yourself. And uh, I was actually gifted some drone footage by a friend of mine, Nick. He gave me some drone footage and he is a drone hobbyist and he has some great looking stuff. And uh, so that's where I got mine. And the first step is to actually use Google Maps. So I'm using Google Maps under what what I believe to be a uh, comp fair use. Uh, I'm not selling map data or anything like that. Uh, you do need to credit Google Maps if you use them. So that is something to keep in mind. I'm not promising that you won't get any retribution from Google, but it seems like this is under their fair use. I'm not a lawyer. Take Do that with what you will. Anyway, so first you need to go to a satellite view in Google Maps and get the uh, location that you're zooming into. And then you need to take the labels off of that location. Now, here you have the location. And with Google Maps, there's a little bit of pixelation when you zoom all the way in, but that's just kind of what you get when you have a satellite looking down on the earth like this. So uh, this is this is a sacrifice you have for not being a Hollywood uh, plane and being able to get actual super high aerial footage uh, higher than drones can go. Uh, but this is going to be the source footage here and then you want to hit F11 on your uh, Google Maps so that way it'll fill up the whole screen because you're going to screen capture this so you want to get it as big as possible so you're so you're getting as much of the screen as possible. So you can use a capture tool like Vegas Screen Capture or uh, OBS which is a free screen capture software. Uh, OBS is something that's working for everybody right now. I know uh, the new the Vegas Screen Capture software is a little bit new and is not working for everyone at the moment so uh, just do with that what you will. But as long as you got a screen capture that'll get a, get a good high quality screen capture you should be good. Now um, just make sure your presets are set to high quality. Uh, there's a great video by Scrapyard Films about how to get uh, the high, highest quality for your screen captures. I'll link that below. Uh, but another thing you need to make sure you have is in when you're screen capturing, you need to make sure and turn your mouse off. So right here, this capture cursor, that needs to be off. If this is on, then... Uh, you'll be able to see the mouse. If it's off, you won't be able to see the mouse. So for this part, I have the capture cursor off, so that way the mouse won't be seen. That's why it's, I'm invisibly clicking on the screen. I'll have capture cursor back on when we're doing the actual Vegas tutorial part. So here we go. So now this is the part that gets extra tricky. Have you heard of auto hotkeys? Auto hotkeys is something that I will link below. But with auto hotkeys, you can actually program what your mouse and keyboard do. The reason you need to do this programmatically is because to do a zoom to earth, if you just scroll your mouse wheel, you're zooming, right? And so you can just scroll your mouse wheel up and down. So you don't have to use auto hotkeys. But I wanted to programmatically do it because I wanted to make sure that it was a steady scroll. So I will link this in the description below as well. So if you uh, install auto hotkeys, it's a free software that lets you uh, create hotkeys programmatically. I have it to where if you hit control J, then it will loop for a hundred times this command where the mouse wheel will move one click 
and then uh, it will rest 60 milliseconds and then do another click. This is what I found works the best for me. You can tweak these numbers however you want, but if you just uh, make a text file that is saved as a .ahk and then you run it in your auto hotkeys, which has to be installed on your computer, then when you hit control after it's running, then when you hit control J, it will do this. So what I need to do is I need to take my auto hot keys, keys script and run the script. And after I'm running the script, now I'm going to kind of get centered on here, leave them my mouse in the center, and like you shouldn't be able to see my mouse right now, and that's that's intentional. Um, but my mouse is in the center of the screen and then I'm going to hit control J and it's going to zoom out and 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 then kind of don't touch anything for a second and there you go there is your source footage when you've done that you've you've now collected you can hit F11 again get out of Google Maps you have recorded the video you need all right, so we're in Vegas Pro 17, and you can grab your source footage here and drop it in. Now, let me delete that because I actually have a different one I want to do. I want this one. So, first, mine was reversed. I'm going to delete the audio on it because I've already done this but you're gonna have your footage not reversed and you get a little bit of static right there so this is the one I did this is not the one you just saw this is the one I did a little bit earlier the one you saw in the tutorial in the in the example and so then it zooms out like that so looks pretty nice we got a few problems with it though uh, so first you're gonna have to cut off what you're not using and then second, so so here I'm gonna cut cut down on the sides until it's until the sun moves a little bit on it, and then I have only the motion there. And then I don't just want only the motion here. I actually want a few frames with no motion. Okay, so that's important. So right now we'll leave it like that. And then what you'll need to do is grab your drone footage put it next to it and you need to right click on your Google Maps footage and hit reverse now this will make it a little choppy to watch don't worry your footage isn't choppy your footage is just it reversing it's a little tough on the software so if you ever need to see it cleanly as through this process right click and hit selectively pre-render video select a codec render and it'll let you see it clearly until you start moving things around again so uh... and we're not going to do that right now though so you can just see by arrowing through it it's zooming in zooming in and then boom suddenly we're in our drone footage so there's only a few more things we need to do now so the google ui is still on here there is a way you can find and delete the javascript on the google maps application uh for the and the website if you're willing to do that you can get a better high res footage of this uh, i wasn't willing to do that so what i ended up doing is just uh cropping it out so that will lower the resolution of your footage just a little bit but i'm trying to crop as little as possible to make sure that every little piece of it is gone so now every piece is gone I'm cropped in and oh okay so there's a mistake there so it created the crop right here uh, because that's where I was so I'm gonna delete this first keyframe and scroll this keyframe right to the start if you have sync cursor on which is sometimes really convenient and sometimes not you will create a keyframe wherever your cursor is instead of right there at the beginning if you have it off it'll all automatically create it at the beginning and that's what uh, I was assuming was happening so uh, make sure that you have your keyframe at the beginning and then while we're here let's go ahead and scroll through here to where it stops moving so not moving not moving moving okay right there so right there at the first part of it moving I want to hit create keyframe and then at the last part of it not moving I, I want to kind of have zoomed in a bit more 
and then I'm going to cross crossfade it through here. Now this crossfade is going to be interesting. We got to have it right at the right spot as it gets that digital zoom. It'll be hard to see, so you have to arrow through. And that looks just about right. So we're just about there. So now we got the effect. We come in from Earth. We zoom in. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. And then we digitally zoom and crossfade at the same time. So that's what that did. we did with the keyframes. It's a digital zoom. That right there. And that this digital zoom and crossfade are roughly the same over the drone footage. And then the drone footage naturally is a falling drone. And so now the last coup de gras, the last little piece to this is to go to your transitions and go to the cross effects transition. And I like the, um, there's several different ones that w might work for your footage better. Uh, this this default one, this default kind of bleed through cross effect, I'm going to drag that and drop that right there. And we're going to check it out. That's what I want to kind of whoosh and cross into the drone footage. So, and you can even, you can get a little tighter here too. We can try this out. Uh, zooming in even more so to where it's really just about, I'm unsure exactly where this physical location is, but where it's just about the same actual size as the drone footage. So give that a shot here. Remember the choppiness is just in Vegas. It won't be in your final render. Boom. Okay. Let's let's arrow through there. There we go. That's just about right. So that's how to create a falling to earth effect in Vegas. So if you want to see this, you can just right click and selectively pre-render to make sure I would definitely do that uh, before you render out. But then you should have the falling to earth effect done. You can dress up your footage any way you want after that. Um, one thing I would recommend though, if you're doing a high resolution, uh, so this is 4K and this is not 4K. This was 1080p captured. Uh, it's also uh, just got a lot of frustrations because this is a bunch of stitched together imaging from Google Earth. Uh, we could not, for this episode, get a satellite that oh this is very far out too this is this is further out than satellites are i'm pretty darn sure we just got to put up with some of this stitching and artifacting from google maps but one of the way you can reduce that is go to your video effects and go to smart upscale and grab that and drop it on here and you're going to want to do it scale four times because I, i'm going into 4k so um it depends on what resolution your monitor is or whatever, but I, I got a 1080p roughly image, and so I'm going to zoom that up, and I'm going to bump the noise sensitivity up because I just noticed that it helps with this particular one. I would try yours on default first, uh, but I just already know that's what I'm looking for there. And so the upscale should help your footage stay kind of crisper looking uh, after your final render. Control Z, I moved it there. Uh, and that is definitely something that can help you help you out so that is the fall to earth effect in its entirety thank you so much for watching this vegas tutorial this is part of my marathon 50 videos in 30 days uh and this is still we're still early so we got a lot more to go uh thank you so much for watching anything you buy through my affiliates links helps me out if you're looking to learn editing from scratch from the beginning learn actual editing theory in vegas creative software then uh check out my udemy course where we go through it uh, right from the very start all the way. We do three different projects, including a documentary and a narrative film, and edit that together. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.